Hello, appraisers. This is Brandon with Spark for Appraisers. Now, first of all, I'm going to apologize for my voice. I'm sick. I had to make the video today. I couldn't wait any longer. So you're stuck with this congested voice. I will try to edit out the coughing so you don't have to deal with that, but I apologize for the voice. Okay, let's get into it. This is a Synapse Spotlight video. This video is covering our new feature, which is the ability to add a custom feature that's essentially whatever you want as long as it's something your MLS allows you to export data for. So let me show you what I mean here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click add a feature. So normally, if you wanna add a feature that's not already on that screen, you just choose in this drop down what you wanna add. Got a lot of options here, and even within some of these categories, you have other options that you can choose. But so anyways, if it's not in there, up until now, you've been just limited to this list, but now you can click create a custom feature right here in blue. The first thing it's gonna do is ask you to name it. So I'm gonna go ahead and type dirt landscaping. I'm basically trying to figure out what the adjustment might be for properties that have only dirt in both the front and rear yard. And that's not a feature that's already built into Sparks, at least not in my MLS. So I'm gonna type that in. That's the name of this feature I'm trying to analyze. I click next. And then here it says select a field to use. Now I can either scroll through this drop down, find something, but in this MLS, we have over 700 fields. It can be a pain to scroll through this. So I can also just type in dirt and it will narrow it down to anything that has that word in it. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that this list, let me delete that. This list is only going to include the fields that you have in your Spark export from your MLS. So if there's something you want to analyze that you don't see in here, then you have to go and add it to your Spark export in your MLS. So however you do that in your MLS, every MLS system, every MLS platform, I should say, is different. You go, you add in the field that you want to analyze, you save it, you re-export the data. And when you load it into Synapse now, that column or that feature that you added will appear here in this list. Okay, let's go ahead and get back to where we were. All right, I'll go ahead and choose this. And then it says, select the data type. See examples below. So here you can see in this field, landscaping dirt back, these are the only options in all of the data I uploaded, either yes or empty. It's meaning the realtor didn't, or the listing agent didn't type anything in for that field. They either had yes or nothing. And so I now choose, and it does tell me Synapse's best guess on this data type is selection. My choices are numeric, selection, or text. So a selection is when you have a field that has maybe you know anywhere between one and 10 different options in it, and you wanna choose a few of those options, or maybe only one of those options. That would be a selection. And by the way, you can click this little question mark and it gives you examples to help you better understand the difference between those different three data types. So you choose the data type. In my case, it's selection. And then you click yes, that's the correct field and data type. Now, step four is you choose from the data options below. So if you remember in that field, we only had two options, yes or empty. So I want to choose the option that means this property has that feature. So I'm gonna choose when it says yes. So when a realtor says yes under landscaping dirt back, that means the property has that feature. And then I click done. So now I'm done, I can click done again and it will go and calculate it. But in my MLS, I need to add another field which is landscaping dirt front. Cause I wanna know any property that has both dirt back and dirt front meaning no landscaping in either area. So now I'm gonna click add another field. I'm gonna type in dirt again, and now I'm gonna choose dirt front. And you can see it does tell you right here, landscaping dirt back is already been utilized. So now I'm, oops, I didn't mean that. I meant, let's do it again, dirt front. Okay, so now it says our best guess is selection. You choose, so I'm gonna choose selection. And now I say, yes, that's the correct field and data type. You choose when it has that feature. So again, it's yes. And in your MLS, you might have a bunch of different, you might have a giant list here of a whole bunch of different fields. You choose the one ones that you want to use to mean the property has that feature. 
I chose yes, I'm not choosing empty, and then I click done. And so now, in order for a property to have dirt landscaping, it has to say yes for landscaping dirt back, and it has to say yes for landscaping dirt front. And that's it. I can add another field. I can also hit done, and that means I'm done. I can hit the trash can. It will remove it. If I, in case I made the made a mistake, I can remove it and re-add something different. And then last, I can also choose or. Now you can see right now it says 12 of the 295 properties had they meet this criteria, meaning they are fully dirt landscaping. Really, there's no landscaping at all in the front or backyard. Now, if I choose or, that means instead of both of these having to be true, only one of them has to be true. So if I click or, you can see it just went from 12 to 58. So now more properties meet the criteria because there's 58 that are either dirt back or dirt front. But now we only have 12 that are both dirt back and dirt front. Hopefully that makes sense. And then you just click done. It's going to calculate it and also save it to your session. And there we go. So now we have dirt landscaping. And it looks like in with this particular set of data I uploaded, that's anywhere between, well, looks like most everything is showing right around 20 grand, 25, all the way up to 37,000. That one's probably an outlier. outlier. We can just remove it like that. And here's our results that we're left with. OK, so that's it. I just added a brand new feature that didn't exist. And in real time, that should hopefully take you only maybe one to two minutes. Let's go ahead and add a couple more just to give you a couple more examples here. I know this video is getting long. I'll try and go quick. I'm going to click Add Feature. Now let's do, whoops, let's do Create a Custom Feature again. Now this time, let's choose Remodeling. And I know this might be iffy, but just bear with me here. So I'm going to click Next. By the way, I haven't done this before, so let's just see. So I'm going to type in public to choose public remarks. And I'm, it says Synapse's best guess on this data type is text. So I'm going to choose text because that's really what this is. And it gives you examples down here and you can scroll through them. These are all the different examples of public remarks in this data I uploaded. And there are I think 295 properties in here, almost 300. And you can see it only shows you a sampling. There's not actually 300 different options here. And then I, when I'm ready, I say, yes, that's right. And now it says in the box below, type the text to search for. And let's just type in remodeled. 77 come up for remodel. 65 come up for remodeled. And we can do that. And I think. We should be happy with this. These are all the examples. A beautiful, highly upgraded remodel, beautifully remodeled. This home has been remodeled, et cetera, et cetera. Now, oh, one thing I wanted to tell you before we move on and hit done here is you can also choose any text that you want to exclude. So right now, it's requiring that the word remodeled be somewhere in the text of whatever listing it's looking at. However, you can also click this checkbox and instead require it to be excluded. So right now you can see we're looking at about 65 out of 295 properties. If I choose to exclude that though, it takes the inverse. So now it's including any property that doesn't have the word remodeled. And so now we're looking at 230 out of 295. So anyways, that feature is there in case you want to take advantage of it. You find some clever way to do it. Let's go ahead and move on. So you basically do what you want. You kind of get the idea here, hopefully. Type in what you want and then you hit done and you can add in more. Maybe you only want to look at properties that are remodeled and have a barn. And you can add another field, find barn, choose that, or all properties that are remodeled and have a basement or something. But you can kind of customize this however you want. When you're all set, you hit done. And there we go. It looks like remodeling is anywhere between 7,000 all the way up to 26 as far as the results go. So you can kind of reconcile that data to a certain number if you want to, or try customizing it again. If you do want to edit it, you just click this Edit Custom Feature button. It only appears on the actual custom features, which are these two right here. Click that, and it brings that feature back up again, and you can go and further edit it. I can remove this, add another one, 
and hit done. That's pretty much it. Okay, that's it. Um, and just for those of you who want to see it, I'll go ahead and add a numeric. Now, this could be something where I'm going to add a custom feature. This could be something where you maybe want to see um, water frontage feet, let's say. Now, in my MLS, we don't have that. I'm in Arizona. We're in the desert, so we're not going to have that. But I'm going to choose, let's just say, in bedrooms. And or let me show you an example here. If I choose interior levels, I chose only one story property. So you can see it shows every single property is one story. And so that kind of tells you when you that this isn't going to be valuable information. Every property is the same. It's not really going to give you any information. So let's go and just choose bedrooms, even though we're doing waterfront uh, feet. And I'm going to choose numeric. And it tells me Synapse's best guess is numeric. But let's just pretend this is water frontage feet, and then I click done. I hit done again. With numeric, you have to answer less questions because it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just going by the numbers in uh, the listing, and there we go. So here's my water frontage feet, and that's it. So hopefully that makes sense. Thanks everybody for watching, and we will talk to you on the next one.